In today's video, we're going to go over an explanation of uniform electric fields, and that is uniform electric fields are fields that exist between charge parallel plates. Now, before you get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Step by Step Science. Get all of our amazing physics, chemistry, and math videos. Please subscribe, click the notification bell, give us a thumbs up, leave us a positive comment, and don't forget to share this video. And in addition to that, I've made a bunch of other teaching and learning materials that you can find on my Teachers Pay Teachers website. Whether you're looking for practice problems, notes, uh, example problems with all the solutions, some puzzles that you can work on, and also some great activities that you can do with PGT Interactive Simulations, it's all available at my Teachers Pay Teachers website. The link is in the description below, and let's go. This is uniform electric fields, and uniform electric fields, as I said, are fields that exist between charged parallel plates. And when we have charged parallel plates, between those plates, we're going to have an electric field, and the electric field always goes from the positive to the negative plate. All right, now what's kind of a definition, a nice good definition for electric fields? This works for either uniform fields or non-uniform fields. It's the area around a charged object which in which a force would be exerted upon another charged object or particle. All right. And also we have uniform electric field. Then we say that the field strength is everywhere the same. So between those charged plates, you can see the field lines are equally spaced. And that shows us diagrammatically, that's kind of an indication that the uniform field, the field between those plates is uniform. Also, as we said, the field lines always flow from the positive plate to the negative plate. Okay, now up here we said it's the area in which a force would be exerted on another charged particle. So if I put a positively charged particle in that electric field, it's going to feel a force to the right from the electric field. And that's kind of the direction. That's how we define the direction of the electric field. It's the direction is the, the direction of the force on a positively charged particle. Obviously, if we put a negatively charged particle, then it's going to feel a force in the opposite direction. All right, so this is kind of a description of the electric field, and it's uniform, and you can see that it's uniform because the field lines are equally spaced. That is different than if we have a non-uniform field around a charged particle, a point charge. And you can see these are non-uniform electric fields because the closer you are to the charged particle, the closer the lines are together. And that's an indication that the field strength is stronger, closer to the particle. And the farther away you get, the greater the spacing is between the electric field lines. And that's an indication that as you move away from each of those charged particles, that the field strength decreases as you move away. You can still see that the field lines go from a positive charge to a negative charge, but these are non-uniform electric fields that we see around a point charge, okay? Just as a comparison for uniform fields. Now, back to our uniform fields, we had our description here. Now, mathematically, we define the electric field. It's defined as the force on a tiny positive test charge. Now, they always say a tiny positive test charge. That's not going to disrupt the field. I just think of it as the force on a test charge, on a positive charge, that's placed in the field divided by the magnitude of that charge or that test charge. And we would write that out mathematically in an equation. The symbol for the electric field is E. It's a vector quantity. And as you can see by the definition here, it's just the force divided by the charge. So we write down the force divided by the charge. The force would be measured in newtons. The charge would be measured in coulombs. So when we use this equation to calculate the electric field strength, the units are going to be in newtons per coulomb. Like that. Now, there's another equation, another set of units that we can use to define the electric field. They're equivalent with the newtons per coulomb, and that is when you have this equation, which also has the electric field. And we can use this equation for parallel plates, not for point charges, but this, this equation is used for parallel plates. It says that the voltage, the potential difference between those two plates, is equal to the electric field strength times the distance between the plates. If we rearrange this equation and solve it for E, then we get the voltage divided by the distance, and the voltage is measured, or the potential difference is measured in volts, the distance is measured in meters. So you see we have two equivalent units that we can use for the electric field strength, either newtons per coulomb or volts per meter. Either one works depending on which equation that you're going to use. Okay? 
Okay, now let's go on and do some example problems. We have a proton. It says it's placed in a uniform electric field where it feels an electric force from the field of 2.75 times 10 to the minus newtons to the right, and we want to calculate the magnitude and the direction of the electric field. All right, so we have our positively charged particle, and it's a proton, and it has a force to the right, and we want to know the direction, the magnitude of the field. Well, if the force on a char positively charged particle is to the right, then that means the field is also to the right, and then we, we could set up our parallel plates like that. Field goes from the positive to the negative. Now, we just want to calculate the electric field strength. It's the force divided by the charge. We're given the force 2.75 times 10 to the minus 9 newtons. You, this is a proton, and you might know that the charge on a proton is 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Divide those, and you get that the electric field strength, E, is 1.72 times 10 to the 10 newtons per coulomb. You can see we're dividing newtons in coulombs, so we have the electric field strength in newtons per coulomb. That's number one. And the field is to the right. Okay, number two says here we have, we want to know, now in this case we want to know what's the direction, the magnitude of the force on an electron that is in a uniform electric field. The force points up and the force strength is 2,400, 2,400 newtons per coulomb. We know that it points up in that direction, and that means if we put our plates like that, and we put an electron in there, that the force is going to be not in the opposite direction, of course, but it's going to be in the direction pointing downwards as that for a charge is attracted to that positively charged plate, and the force is in the opposite direction of the field. And we want to know what is the amount of force. We're going to use this equation, which we're going to solve for the force. It's just Q times E. It's an electron. You know, or you can look up, the charge on an electron is 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19. Remember, cool, cool, excuse me. protons and neutrons have the same charge, both in coulombs, of course. And the electric field strength is 2,400 newtons per coulomb. You can see that the coulombs are going to cancel, and the force on that electron would be 3.84 times 10 to the minus 16 newtons. All right? And that would be, in this case, the way the field is oriented, the force would be in the downward direction. All right, number three is, it says a charged particle in a uniform electric field and experiences a force of 8.5 newtons. If the field strength is 1,150 newtons per coulomb, what is the charge? We use the same equation. Now we're just going to solve for the charge. It is the force divided by the field strength. We are given the force. It's 8.5 newtons. We're given the field strength, and that means the charge of that negatively charged particle would be 7.4 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs, or 7.4 millicoulombs, like that. Okay? All right. Now, for the other equation, it says here that there's a potential difference between the plates, and the potential difference is 75 volts. The distance between the plates is 4 centimeters, and we want to know what the electric field is. So we have the electric field strength is. We have our parallel plates. We have the electric field like that. And we know that the difference between those two plates is 75 volts. And we're going to use this equation, because this has the volts and the distance, and that's what we're given. We're going to rearrange to solve for the field strength. This is a change in the voltage divided by the distance. And that would be 75 divided by 0.04. Remember, you've got to convert always to meters. And that means the electric field strength is 1,875 volts per meter. All right? That's the electric field strength. We're using that equation. OK, I think we have one more. All right, this is a little bit of a challenge question. We have an electron. It's released from rest in the uniform electric field. It has a certain acceleration of 885 meters per second. And we want to know what is the magnitude and the direction of the electric field. All right, so we have our negatively charged particle. It's going to feel the force to the right. And that means the field is in the opposite direction to the left. OK, that's the direction of the field. We can just draw our positive and negative plate in there like that. And we're going to use this equation to figure out the field strength, the force divided by the charge, except we don't know the force. But we can use Newton's second law, F equals ma, because we know the mass of an electron. We know the acceleration. And the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. The acceleration, as it tells us, is 85 meters per second squared. So that electron is going to feel a force 
uh, that would give it that acceleration would be 7.74 times 10 to the minus 29 newtons. And we can plug those values in along with the charge, which we know for an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 newtons. And that means that the field strength resulting from that acceleration of that electron is 4.84 times 10 to the minus 10 newtons per coulomb. Okay? So there you go. That's a quick overview, a quick explanation of what the electric field is for uniform electric field. All right, it's the region where another charged particle will feel a force inside that field. And therefore, we had those five uh, excellent examples that we did. Okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget, as I said before, to do the following five things. Please support our channel, Step by Step Science. Get all our excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You should please uh, click the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Subscribe, of course. Let's see, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a nice positive comment. And don't forget, of course, to share this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.